Hello, my beautiful weirdos. Mike Obe here for another episode of Pep Talk and a Tune. Last episode, I spoke about confidence, in particular in relation to when you receive negative feedback or constructive criticism and how you can remove yourself a little bit from your emotional reaction to that feedback and then be able to evaluate what's legitimate and what's valuable to you and then move on uh, confidently with the feedback that you've received. And I, what I didn't realize at the time is that we, we may be able to extend that not only from an individual point of view but, but to a collective point of view in uh, this pandemic situation. And what I thought I'd do is introduce, uh, for those of you that don't know about it, is the concept of the, the Gaia hypothesis. And the Gaia hy hypothesis, I don't know if it's if hypothesis is the right term for it, but I, I see it as a way of thinking or a metaphor where you see the entire planet as if it were an organism. And if you think of, of the entire planet as an organism and then think about humans' role within it, it has some interesting kind of implications for how we see ourselves. And these days uh, on social media, you'll often see, and, it, and this is a self kind of criticism that people are directing at humanity, is this hashtag, we are the virus. And I consider that, you know, we, we have to decide for ourselves whether that's a valid criticism or not, but the way that humans have interacted with the planet uh, has definitely been, you know, not very sustainable um, and, and oftentimes destructive. So in, within this framework of looking at uh, the, the planet as an organism, what if we look at the coronavirus as a criticism, if you will, or a negative feedback against the way that we've been we've been living our lives. And that's a tough one to kind of face, but there may be some, some at least metaphoric kind of validity. I'm not saying that this is a scientific um, theory in any way, but you know, it may be helpful to see it that way in terms of how are we gonna take that feedback and then you know, decide what's valid and and how do we move forward confidently in making the world a better place for ourselves and our future generations? And of course, then for the individual, you know, that that becomes, you know, I'm only one person in seven and a half billion. How am I supposed to make a difference? But if you look at the way that we've gotten here, it's been, you know, seven billion individuals working within all these complex systems that have gotten us here. So seven billion individuals working within complex systems has to be the way that we get ourselves out of it. So for us as individuals, I think it's, it's important to, you know, to, to just try our best to live, uh, live our lives as best we can given the limited knowledge that we have and to you know to uh, examine the way we live our lives and i know that that this has definitely spurred this kind of feedback of uh, a global pandemic has definitely spurned me to look at the way that i live my life and uh, you know hopefully making some changes for the better and again, as, as, as uh, 7 billion peop individuals 
working within these systems. Hopefully the systems will start to change as well and will start to uh, make, make this world a better place. So that was a bit of a long rant today, or pep talk, I should say. <laughs> I should, I maybe got a little ranty there for a little bit, but uh, we'll move on to a tune here. This one's called, this, this one's a bit of a crit critical song uh, that I wrote several years ago, but it has a hopeful message in the end as well. It's called Fallen Children.